Hey yo, welcome back to Spore. Last where we left off, we completed Civilization Stage. And we've basically, and we went through, we went through, we put buildings on, in every single, in every single city. We put turrets everywhere, we've claimed all the Spice Geysers and we're still making money. So now, it is time to move on to the Space Stage. And obviously we're going to be, what was it, warmongers? We've got the military, warrior. Okay, so that's what we, that's what, uh, what we were going to get. So, it's time. It's time to make a ship. Can you imagine just a big spaceship that we make is going to come out of that? Man. Okay. So I kind of have an idea of what I would like to go for. I'm going to do a little... I'm going to go shoot for something different. I'm going to go for a vertical base. For this one. Shoot for a vertical base. And... Kind of starting this off pretty interestingly, aren't I? By making a vertical ship. I've never made a, a vertical ship before. Never have uh, in my time playing Spore. This is actually the first time I'm shooting for this type of uh, decision to, to make a vertical ship. Um, I'm kind of mainly. I was mainly just inspired by the to do this idea. Because of well, you know, Star Wars. You know, if you if you've watched Star Wars, you know that Boba Fett and Jango Fett both had this type of uh, spaceship that was just vertical. It was a vertical type of spaceship, and it looked cool. It actually did look super cool. Okay, so. All right, looks like we're gonna have that in the books. From from the looks of it. Okay, so now it comes down to the cockpit. How do we want our cockpit to look? And that's gonna be the tough part. Arguably one of the toughest things. No. No, <laughs> this is tough. This is actually very, very difficult. I think I'm just going to shoot for this. This is the only other one that I think is best. Just, just from my, from my end, from my recollection, you know. So now let's get down to engines. Well, not engines, but uh, thrusters. Any sort of feature that, that you can put on a ship. So let's go ahead. Actually, wait, got an idea. I'm gonna put wings on this thing first. Wings on this first. Looks like that'll be good right there. This may not look the best in the entire world, but you know what? 
I'm willing to stick with what I've got here. You know, I'm willing, willing to. Alright, yeah, that looks good. I like that. Alright, weapons. Alright. I think that'll do. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, unless if I want to put torpedoes somewhere. Probably work those in right there. Want to make them a little bit smaller. Oh, not sure what's going on here. Alright. Looks like that'll be good right there. Yeah. And then... I sometimes put, like, these types of headlight things on my... on my ships. Usually. Usually. Sometimes. Not... A hundred percent of the time. All right. All right. There we go. Sweet. <gasps> oh, excuse me. And last but not least, but I put a little space, a couple space grills in here. Just a couple of them in there. Just like that. Alright, perfect. There we wait. Wait. And just like wait, that does not look that doesn't look aligned. All right, sweet. There we go. Now that looks good. I like that. That looks really good. Now for the painting. Last but not, most certainly not least. Eh. Eh. I'm not a really a huge fan of that. Not really. So we're gonna fix this gonna fix this just a tad and then make these green let's see make this kind of like a darker darker black Okay. Okay. I think I can go ahead and call this good. I'm gonna call it the Hexaponus. Hexaponus 1BZ. 1BZ. Alright. Might as well go ahead and call it that. That looks cool, though. I do like that. Onward! Now to the space stage. So this is actually the first time that I'm doing Space Stage on a video. So this will be good. This will be good. Okay. Alright, so they've officially, they've completed the ship and... Ta-da! Ta-da! Sweetness. Lift off! You've successfully developed a, developed a ship capable of space flight. The heavens beckon. The cosmos await. The universe is at your fingertips. If you can learn to fly, th if you can learn to fly this thing. All right. Before I open communications up, I'm gonna change it. our wardrobe. It's another thing I'm gonna go ahead and change. 
that or are you off to a good start <laughs> no nah, that's not good okay that's better that's better that's better I like that okay that's a lot better so masks and no I think some masks like these would be like that one would be better off as like a belt kind of kind of to add on to this this is what I think <laughs> And then ah! this can be turned sideways. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Take that off. And I had like this jetpack kind of looking thing. Well, even, even though it kind of is a jetpack. Okay. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Got it. Got it. Fixed it. Fixed it. I fixed it. Okay, so now add this to the shoulders. Add to the shoulders. And then add. Let's add this. To correspond with the jetpack. All right, all right, that's actually looking good. I like that. And then let's add this back. Let's just say this little necklace thing goes straight through the loop. I'm just gonna say that. It may not look like it here on the sides but does for sure from the front. Actually, no. Let's just also add these to the side right here. Let's just add that. And make sure that these fit together. Actually, wait, let's do that. Let's do that. And then add this little tiny clock right in the center. And that? That's his outfit. We don't really need to do much. Sweet. His official outfit right there. Alright, let's open communications. Alright. I'm not going to read all of that, so... Alright. So the object is to fly through these seven orbs. Just so that way we can navigate our way around. So... That's, that's an easy-peasy task. Easy-peasy. More easy-peasy. I just need to get one more. And easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Alright, that's done. Next, got a scan. And we've also got a radar up and everything, so. Oh, there's an epic! I'm being hit! I'm being hit! I'm being hit! Oh my gosh! This is not... Oh my gosh, this is not as easy. I thought the epic would just ignore you, but I guess not. Okay, anyways. Okay, good. Alright, that's the creature I was supposed to get. Alright. I'm not sure why my, uh... Abduct... Okay, I've got to abduct this. Abduct this animal. And take it over to... Take it over to one of the cities. So, put it down. 
It's really weird of how, like, the citizens are small, but when you put a creature right next to them, just a regular creature, they're huge. Oh. Alright. So now it's come down to eradicating them. So this is not going to be easy because some of them are all together. <laughs> it's not. Oh, and I like of how I say it's not easy, but then it turns into being easy. All right, sweet, we've gotten promoted. We've been promoted to captain. Congratulations, you've earned the badge of title. You've earned the badge and title of captain. Sweet. Okay, so first of all. I can't even re recharge or anything. I can't. Ugh, fine. All right. So we got to go outside of the planet of uh, Rigoa and go to this planet. Usually these are the planets that you go to here. Oh. Something is showing up on the ship's radar. It's a crash spacecraft, and it's emitting a strange radio signal. Fly to it, and use the scan tool to investigate the crash site. Alright. Aliens, but no signs of life. Looks like they drew some type of cryptic map before they died. Wait! The wreck has triggered a signal transfer- has tra bleh, has triggered a transfer beam. Sub items are coming aboard. Alright, let's see what items are coming up. Miss missiles and an interstellar drive. Which seems to have an unknown star's coordinate programmed into it. The wreck's damage looks like it came from a flight. This ship must have been sent from another, from some other planet to get help. Alright, so. Now we gotta leave this solar system and go to that other system. That, go to that other star system. Okay. Oh. The Instellar dr the interstellar drive from the wreck is responding to a beacon from a nearby star that matches the coordinates in its memory. This must be the home planet. They must still, they may still be needing help. Ugh, can't even read. Hips of four. And it's a blue star too. Alright. Oh. Uh oh. Something is showing up on the ship's radar. Yep. Doop, doop, the doop, doop. Too late. These ruins must be what's left of the home colony of the aliens from the wreck. Scanning the ruins may reveal clues to what happened here. Uh, gotta scroll down. Uh oh. The scan came up with nothing, but it seems to have triggered a response. Something is showing up on the radar. Ah, of course. The scan must have triggered the colony's defense. These drones don't look friendly. Wait, an incoming transmission. Warning, Grox intruders detected. All Grox intruders will be terminated. Grox? Initializing self-defense code Grox 999. All Grox intruders will be terminated. We're not Grox. Warning, all Grox intruders will be terminated. For the last time, we are not Grox. You'll figure out what Grox are later on in the series, but gotta defend myself. Oh boy. And I've also gotta make sure that I don't lose my health points. Because I've already lost a few to that epic that attacked me. Alright. So that mission is accomplished. Sweet. Awesome. Let's uh, 
Let's add back. Oh. That, that's supposed to happen later on. It's not supposed to happen right now. That little scene, that is. Mission accomplished! Yep. Yep, yep, yep. How do I establish Kanish? Uh, hey, what is that? Can't even speak. Alright, so the next mission is to establish another colony. We gotta go to Tanthon. Sounds a lot like Tampon. But you get the gist of what I'm trying to get at. But, anyways. Anyways. Planets in green or. Wait. Planets in green orbit paths are easier to terraform and colonize than planets on red or blue orbit paths. Huh. Wow, I didn't even know that until now. <laughs> I usually would skip that part. Okay. Anyways, colonies can be established on any planet from barren moons to lush Terrascore 3 oases. Fruitful colonies mine spice that can be traded. Alright. Just put a colony there. Basically. <laughs> Let's just go for it. Alright. Sweet. We've gotten to that point. Congratulations! You have grown your empire. Each colony's productivity is tied to its size. Size is limited by the terror score of the planet. Invest in terraforming, then add colonies and buildings to reap the highest rewards. Alright, so that mission is accomplished. Obviously, we need to fly back, and I'm hoping that... Once I get more and more into this game, well, more and more into this game, this saved game, that is. So I forgot some spices. Sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. That's going to be key. That's going to be key. But now the next, the next thing we got to do is find an alien empire, which that in and of itself... Maybe a little bit easy. Maybe. Maybe. I say that very loosely. Oh, here we go. Here we go. That was easy. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, this is cyan. Drake's equation was right. A living alien race. We are not alone. It looks like they have been. It looks like they have been. They have sent to envoy to greet an envy or envoy. I don't. I can't read to greet you. Perhaps you should talk to them. Open your communications panel. Of all the nation, of all the the colors I could have found was cyan. I would find a lot of brown, but cyan. That's interesting. Greetings. Your ship is not in our data records. What is your identification and registration information? Hexapono. Ooh, okay. Sweet. Alright, so I'm gonna keep that in mind because I just looked up the cost. Well, the cost. Well, basically how many spore bucks I'd get out of selling the red spice geyser. Oh, I'm getting more communications. You're in our security zone. Make no sudden moves. Uh, I gotta make a sudden move to get home. Anyways. <laughs> Sweet. Alright. So, another thing. Because, like, this actually is not too bad because I've... Because, okay. This is enemy territory. This race will continue to attack as long as you remain in their territory. You need to decide. Flee or fight or fight. Flee, fight, or peace. What will it be? Oh boy. This territory is controlled by the race of this home star. They consider your presence in their territory to be an act of aggression. Oh shit. Oh shoot. Okay. 
All right, so these types of these types of uh, empires with those types of voices usually are the ones that you either need to stay away from or the ones are, are mainly the ones that are high demanding. They're high demanding, so I have an idea. Let's take give them a gift. It's not gonna be all that good. It's not good financially. Yep, and that was kind of pointless to do. That ruined, that kind of killed the finances. But, they're not, they're not gonna attack, so that's a good thing. Anyways, let's come back here. Because, the reason why I looked at the inventory is because the cost, well, basically how many support bucks I'd get out of selling that red spice is nearly 63, 6.3k, and that's gonna help. And that's gonna help a lot. Okay, so let's go back. Let's head back over to our home world. Actually, let's wait on that for now. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Let's, let's do some terraforming. Let's do some terraforming. And we've got another badge, a Missionista one, a Missionista one badge. And that was all this, and all that stuff that it was listed. That's all the other types of tools that we get out of this. Okay, so here we go, terraforming. Let's go ahead and do some terraforming. Which lickety split is actually pretty easy. That's if, like, as if that uh, cut screen said. Um, is if, if the plan is on a green path, not and the red or blue ones, because those ones are a little bit more difficult. Okay. And I may not be able to add a lot, because adding buildings on colonies like the ones on this planet, they cost more. A lot more. And that ain't all that good. Okay. Sweet. We made it into Terra Score 1. So now, in order to secure that, gotta drop some plants. Plants are gonna help this planet obviously, uh, obviously get into a much better state than what it was in before. I know I'm kind of being like educational and I'm sorry. I mean, you could use this game for educational purposes. Y you actually could. It, it is this game, in my honest opinion, can not only be fun, but it's also very capable for any sort of like science, scientific lessons. You, you, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And you don't want to obviously like talk, talk a bunch and talk a whole lot, you know, about like evolution and stuff because you can see it visually you see visually of what you have to do anyways on to the medium sized plants okay put some here and then some over here ah, excuse me <clears throat> down here Get more and more plants. Uh, how about over here? We're pretty up close to the sun. And put some here. And let's go ahead. Oh, uh oh. Looks like, oh, we're getting in the yellow. We're getting in the yellow. All right, that's good. That's good. But the problem is that orange dot had an arrow that was pointing back downward. And if it went out of that circle, that first circle, then it would have meant that this planet would have gone back down to a terraform zero. A T-zero 
uh, planet. And that would be good because that would basically be the state that the planet was in before terraforming happened. So let's, uh, let's keep on going. Let's add some bigger trees right there. How about some trees here? Okay. Wide open spaces. Lots of wide open space. And let's put some more trees here. Alright. Creatures! I'm gonna put I'm gonna put them all over. Sometimes if you put one or two or three of them all over the planet, they just eventually spawn in groups all over the planet. Eventually. Watch as soon as I come over to this spot. I don't know. Maybe about another four or five of them. Before groups of them just spawn out of nowhere. Yep, species already in present location, right there. If you saw those blue dots. Okay. And. Bring them down. And I'm still gonna keep going. Still gonna add as many as I can. And then. Squibbly. Squibbly! It's another herbivore. Uh, another herbivore creature. Uh, we've got a carnivore and the ninja monkeys.